Hello, this is Peter Newman. I'm a member on the ANSWER student community, and there's a post on creating a GE bracket from Lena, and uh, Lena wants to create this shape and got this far, and I downloaded the attached file and rotated a little to see what that is, and uh, just have step one, delete the holes, use pull, move, and split body to get the shape you want. And this, this video is on how to do that uh, in Space Claim. And there's the finished product. And here's where we're going to start. And so I'll uh, go through some steps such as fill. And I want to fill a couple of faces. If you hold the control key down, you can get uh, two faces at once. Um, fill. And... Uh, also, I'm going to uh, get rid of, uh, well, we don't want any surfaces visible, so let's get rid of those. And there's another surface down here. We only want to see the three solids. And uh, I'm going to pull these, uh, I could do fill, uh, control, and fill, fill these holes in, because they'll be a little bit in the way, fill. And uh, so we've got we've got two surfaces here. We might want two surfaces over here, but uh, for now, um, yeah, we will we will take two surfaces. We'll split this with a sketch. So if we go to the sketch tool and sketch on that plane, we can draw a line. And let's draw a, a line that uh, starts out here and is, is vertical to the x to the y-axis, hit the escape key, and uh, let's uh, let's go back to the select tool and, or the 3D mode, and uh, that has now split the face. And um, <clears throat> maybe a measurement would be in order here. You can measure the distance from that line. Hold the control key down to that and click on the measure tool so 10 point let's just call it 11 in round numbers let's uh move this split line we we actually are done with the curves let's get some more room here to see things uh the curves i don't need these lines anymore um, but this this is probably too far away so i can in the design tool use the move tool to move that line in this direction use the ruler to this point and i can type in 11. so there's our uh, two splits uh, now we'll use the pull tool which is this or you can hit the p key pick this and go up to this point so there's our first piece of body and we're going to use split body we're going to split that on that plane and throw away that piece next we'll uh, take the move tool and we'll pick these three faces move the anchor to that line so we can uh, rotate it down about we're just doing it by eye about to there uh, and now we can take these side faces and rotate them in, uh, in that direction like do with 300 degrees if you want round numbers and uh, drag that down 60 degrees and uh, now we can put some holes back in uh, but it's starting to look a little bit like, and it, it's not a symmetric uh, body, right? <laughs> so uh, holes, that's just the sketch tool. Sketch on there, circle tool, some diameter. Let's make it 15 for our numbers, and then pull that through. Uh, now we can sketch on here with the sketch tool on this surface. Uh, actually, before we do that, uh, yeah, no, we'll we'll do that first. Go ahead and um, 
the issue is order of operations. If we look at this, there's a blend here that cuts through this. And so do you do the hole and then the blend or do you do the blend and then the hole? Um, you get different problems going in different directions. So I'm going to do the blend first. So I'll use the pull tool and I'll pull a blend there of uh, six millimeters, say. Do the same over here. And now if I sketch a, uh, if I really, um, a good way to avoid the issue of that um, is to sketch on a plane and pull up. If I sketch on this plane and pull down, I'll be left with a little overhanging lip from that blend. So let's try it that way. Let's do sketch. Uh, let's create a plane first. Let's do a plane off there. And then we'll move that plane. Uh, we'll take this plane and move it up, say 15 or 10. And now that's the plane we'll sketch on. We'll pick the plane sketch. And now we can sketch uh, here and, and um, sketch out to a diameter that'll include the uh, little piece of the blend with the hole tool, uh, like 22. And and then we'll use the pull tool and we'll pull those circles up to, um, we'll pull those surfaces and we'll pull them up through. And that is the uh, model. There's a, there's a little more to do with blends here and they can, they can get tricky. Um, I didn't get to those either. But uh, I don't want to make the video too long. Uh, I think you get the general idea of how to use some of these tools. So uh, good luck and thanks for watching.